space is for me is for my time, for time for myself, because I'm every day I am at home. I work with children. I run for shopping, for cook, for. But these uh, hours when I am in the school is only for me. It was great to be nominated for City Lead Students Awards, and I'm proud. My children, the same. <laughs> what inspired me to sign up to a class at City Lit was actually having my daughter. It took me about two years to kind of muster up the courage to sign up, but I just, I just had this overwhelming feeling and I was ready, but I just wasn't sure if I could be a mum and study and work at the same time. I hit rock bottom last year and I nearly gave up the course and being able to pass really just, it changed how I look at myself and kind of showed me that you can do anything that you put your mind to, no matter what. So about a year ago, 13 of us joined a course here at City Lit, um, Contemporary Practice Personal Project. We all had one thing in common, which was we wanted to keep practicing and experimenting. Um, and this course gave us the platform to do that. For me, the most enjoyable part are the people, obviously, and the tutors, who I think are amazing. What I always wanted to do was poetry. So I didn't proceed any further with academic learning. And I joined City Lit because they had a vacancy in April 1998. The years have begin to begin to pass and I can I'll go again next term and perhaps I'll go again the following year. I'll go again another year. Then I think, well I really like that poem and I've got it published, so I will go next year. So for about five years I'm buoyed up trying to get published and occasionally, occasionally I do. I, I really didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. Um, up until a couple of years ago and so it was a really big part of me starting to realise like what I was actually capable of. You know, I'm now studying at University College London doing history, which is like crazy for someone who failed school and on like a really deep like emotional level, it's very, very validating to be told, you know, it wasn't your fault that you didn't succeed. But now you can and we want to help you and you know, it's to have that belief is just, yeah, it's like kind of makes you speechless, really.